As the cost of living soars in America, so has the use of gifting platforms such as the Buy Nothing project. Buy Nothing is one of a number of social media driven schemes to help people give away things they don't need. It also enables people to pick up many essential items for free. Michelle Fleury reports from the local Buy Nothing group in her neighborhood in Brooklyn. These cushions were all from Buy Nothing. Um, that end table. Yep. Um, this chair. Seven Tavuk Jun moved into his new apartment last month. I got a book uh, about Gothic cathedrals, which I love, which I was able to sort of scrap and start turning into sort of an art installation piece. When he saw how much it would cost to furnish it, he joined his local Buy Nothing group on Facebook, where people offer unwanted items for free. Being a part of these groups has been incredible because all the basic necessities are there, and then some. He saved a lot. Inflation in the U.S. has soared and the price of living room, kitchen and dining room furniture, like Seven hoped to buy, has jumped more than 17%. You got a lot. I did. I, I did get a lot. Huge savings. I think I, when I tried to do some calculations, it ended up being like about $2,000 worth of stuff. Full disclosure, I belong to one of those groups where members give things away for free. Maybe, like me, you have tons of stuff that you aren't necessarily using anymore, but that could be useful to somebody else. And with inflation in America at levels not seen in nearly 40 years, these groups are seeing a surge in popularity. The Buy Nothing Project certainly acts as a social safety net for uh, families and for entire communities. The Buy Nothing Project has seen its membership double over the last two years to more than 5.3 million. It added an app to cope with the demand. People are getting much more comfortable with it. It's becoming a, a behavioral change that we're seeing within communities. And a lot of people are saying, I don't know how I, how I survived without this. With soaring inflation and the stresses of the pandemic, gift giving services like these have become a financial and emotional lifeline for some. We probably are seeing about a 15% increase in posts every day. Darren Beale founded FreeCycle, where members offer some 20,000 items each day. FreeCycle and the sort of community spirit that you have for FreeCycle is a good alternative for folks to uh, save a little bit of money and uh, also maybe re-gift items instead of throwing them away to help others out who might be in need. A real wood frame with real glass and it's a painting. As a protection from inflation, Finding free items online has its limits. There's no guarantee that what you want is available when you need it. But that hasn't stopped Seven being amazed by what people are offering. See, there's another, like, dining table set. Crazy. Michelle Fleury, BBC News, New York.